Congratulations, uh, Steve Oakey. Thanks, Martin. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Uh, uh, were you uh, surprised at the result, or did you expect it? Uh, I wouldn't say I was surprised at the result, but uh, we did some uh, vote counts, and we felt confident of the vote and what we anticipated the vote would be, and it turned out as we anticipated. Okay. So you're going to have to work with a Republican majority uh, on council? Uh, Absolutely. And, you know, I understand that your comments about... Uh, former councilman, now Mayor uh, Andriani. Right. Uh, but someone that you really haven't particularly gotten well, along well with is Larry Doherty. Uh, what, uh, what do you think uh, that uh, relationship's going to be? I have no animus with, with Larry Doherty. I know he's uh, someone who believes passionately in, in his side, and uh, I respect that. Whether I agree or not is is really not the, the issue, is does everybody have an opportunity to have their side fairly heard? And that's really what the role of the uh, City Council President is, and I intend to fulfill that. Um, and like I said uh, during my comments uh, to the group, uh, I did work with Mary Andriani uh, very well uh, for six years. We got along really good. And during the campaign, I called him my friend because I, I felt we always had friendly relations, and I, I look forward to that continuing. Um, uh, question about um, uh, where, where do you think council should go? Do you see the role of council president being a leadership role or just a procedural position? Well, as I said this evening, I think that the role of president of city council is much more than just presiding over two meetings a month. I think the role is to be a voice of leadership in the community, uh, to foster engagement, to make sure that people have a good conversation. Congratulations. Thanks, Sue. Take care. Uh, that was Sue Ryan, so I wanted to say, say hello to her. Um, and to foster fair communication and, and uh, cooperation wherever we can. That's really the role of the council president. And uh, I learned that from John Benincastle. He was a, a really good role model to follow in that regard. Now, uh, now council president doesn't vote in alliance, is that correct? Only in case of a tie. Tie. Yes. Okay. Will you be uh, off uh, uh, the... Um, seat of uh, council president, will you be advocating among council members for certain substantive positions? Gosh, it's, it's difficult to say because I don't know what the what the different positions may be or what the issues may arise. I certainly remember when I was a councilman at large, President Benicass uh, wouldn't hesitate to express his opinion. He was uh, an opinionated man, uh, and uh, he, he let everybody know what he thought on particular issues. Not every issue. But a number of issues he did, so we'll just have to take it as did, it did goes. Did he do that from his seat, or did he do that uh, uh, in other venues? Sometimes privately, occasionally from the chair, he from did? the seated oh. chair. Yes, occasionally he did. Okay. And uh, I think everybody respected the, his approach. Okay. Now, you're uh, to serve through November, I mean, uh, to the end of uh, 2000. Uh, 15, 15 right. yes sir yes and right so you anticipate running for the uh, office yes i do do you anticipate a stiff challenge from the republicans well, well that that's up to them that's uh, a, a decision that's not in my hands so i'm not going to sit around wondering about it but bottom line for steve oakey he plans to uh, get along with uh, the republican dominated council uh, i beg your pardon what was that you, again? you plan to get along with the republican dominated council i think i can get along with almost anybody okay. as long as someone who works to work cooperatively with me, they'll receive cooperation in return. Okay. Well, thank you.